to pick up the missus. I've actually got to head over to Royal Mail to pick up a package, which is actually going to be one of the last packages for my for the R3 project. I can't actually remember what this package is, but after this, I've only got my rear sets, uh, something else that's in the mail, um, and eventually I'll get the tuner when I have the money. So not long now, and I'll have all of it. Oh, someone's ringing me. I can't answer because my Senna is not on. Because it's dead. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna little do little vlog the vlog the vid vid thing. And you're gonna come around with me. So that's the plan. Raw mail's over that way, so I need to head over that way. And I'll see you when I'm off the bike. This is what ended up happening. <laughs> I went in for my parcel. Turns out the parcel wasn't for me. <laughs> it was for my dad. <laughs> I didn't look at the name. I just assumed it was mine because I've been ordering loads of shit recently. <laughs> so I got in there and it was... I was just like, what the fuck is this? I opened it up and it was uh, some work trousers. I was like, hey. And then I read the name and it was for my dad. <laughs> and, now it's, and now it's pissing it down. So, yeah. And now I gotta stop at a red light while it's pissing down. And I'm in jeans, so I'm not got any waterproof. I've got my waterproof top on. Well, we got the missus. That mirror is facing a horrible direction. That's better. I got the missus at least, but not a wasted journey. Can I take in this? No, not really. It's just gonna flop about like a bell end. There was a fox. I'm a foxy man. Yeah. Oh, this is great. So I probably won't do the film when I was going to do today. I was going to film the... Oh, I'll film it at some point so you'll be able to see it. But I'm going to film how to uh, how to remove the stock screen and fit the new tinted screen or whatever screen you get for the R3. And uh, just talk about some of the other bits I've put on recently. But I probably won't do that today because the weather is... So instead, I will probably just go home and play some Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <coughs> so it is finally here. You don't know how long I've waited for this. This is the new exhaust, an M4 exhaust. Now, why I went for M4? Basically, if you haven't seen the video where... I explain all the issues I've had with the exhaust I got because I was going to put my Acra slip on onto it on, onto a, a full system basically. Basically, this just cut out all that bollocks. I'm still going to be able to use some of the exhaust that I bought, so I'm not wasting all my money. And then this just basically slots on. And I've watched videos of this of this exhaust, and it sounds amazing. I can't wait to get this on. It's oh, I'm so fucking excited. It's it's like fucking Christmas. And <sighs> do you like my socks? They're the crunch. I like the crunch. We call him the crunch, not the Grinch. He's the crunch, because, uh, yeah, that's a different story for another day. Anyway, I've already kind of got into the box. Kind of, I say. I'm going to into, get into the rest. I'm fucking <coughs> so excited. Come here, you little shit. Oh, this knife is shit. There we go. Force it open. Force it open. Bye. Here we go. Go away. Ooh, a box inside a box. Now very, 
very delicately, 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 but very carefully. Here. Oh, there we go. We got it. Very delicately, very, very, very carefully. Just pierce it. And fucking. <laughs> Motherfucker! Get open! Get open! I think they've sent me the wrong fucking one. Either it's wrapped, because I asked for the carbon fiber one, and that's not carbon fiber, that's stainless steel. That's all that's in the box. We'll open it up. That's stainless steel. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's carbon. It's all good. It's got a, a bit of cardboard wrapped around it. Oh, thank God, because before I get into this, I want to shout out the company that helped me. Here is the name. I think it's JS, JHS Racing. Um, basically, when I was looking for the exhausts, get the fuck out of the way. I was looking on eBay. And they were a fuck ton of money. Plus I'd have to pay import tax and all this bollocks. And I was just like, what the fuck, man? So, I went on the M4 website that do all the M4 exhausts. And they have all the dealers, basically. And there was a dealer in the UK called J JHS Racing. I emailed them asking if, it was, um, if they could possibly get this exhaust for me. And they said, that's no problem. We can set up purchasing. We can do all this. They they made the specs everything for me, like so it was good to fit. I, I can't thank these guys enough. I asked them if they if they minded if I put them in a video. They said absolutely not. Like the re they would always reply so quickly to any problem I may have had. They answered all my questions and they were able to get this exhaust to me. They said two to two to three weeks. It got here in one week. They are amazing. They will be linked in the description. And in a card up there, please go click on them because bloody hell, they help me out so much and I can't thank them enough. So, right, let's just fucking get into the exhaust now. <laughs> right, this is the bit I do have to be careful with because I don't want to be cutting through anything that I shouldn't be. Because that wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have some fun with this poppity pops. <laughs> it may all have to be a hand job. <laughs> I made a joke. It wasn't really, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, love the sound of bubble wrap man, um, let me cut this out quickly, fucking hell, sellotape man, there we go, so what we got here, manual and stuff, manual and some, uh, the, the, the bolts that I need to, uh, to attach the exhaust, I can't wait to get this exhaust on. I basically held back from putting all the bits. Like, I've got so many more bits to put on my R3, and I've just held it back because I've been waiting for this R3, uh, for this M4 exhaust. Because I didn't want to do the exhaust video and have already all my bits on, and then for the R3 project, you've already seen the bike. You know? It makes no sense. So I've been waiting for this, so as soon as I get this on, hopefully maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, I'll do an exhaust video as soon as I can. Compare it to the slip-on. <laughs> oh my god, I can't fucking wait! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! yeah. I felt miserably at that. Oh, here it comes! Yeah, look, it was a fucking bit of cardboard over it. I thought it was fucking stainless steel. Oh! Oh my god! That weighs like nothing. I'm actually surprised that how much that ways like i know it doesn't look a lot but yeah what's it say warranty dis i gotta read now <clears throat> warranty disclaimer carbon fiber silence the sleeves the recent in your carbon fiber sleeve cannot hold up to the temperature of the exhaust cases unless the silence of packing is maintained on a regular basis individually okay i can't want to keep this intact and not break it can i do that <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Here we go. Yeah, look at that 
beast. Yeah. Let me come up close to the camera. Ta da. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. That is so nice. That's one arm. Uh, it is not heavy whatsoever. That. Ooh, I hit the camera. Do you like the fireplace? <laughs> oh, my days, guys. Right, I gotta go get my, my other section of my exhaust. Give me a sec. So, with this M4 exhaust, with the, the R3, what you're meant to do is, uh, is cut the, the stock headers um, to slot this on. Now, because I have this piece, because it came in two, I hopefully won't have to do that. Hopefully that's long enough to be able to fit on my R3 and I can just use these, bit, these bits. If I have to cut the R3 uh, stock headers, perfectly fine. It won't look as good, but... I'm hoping I can use this. Uh, then this just bit just becomes, I don't know, maybe if I buy a project bike and I make a custom exhaust out of it, you never know. It can come in handy, I suppose, uh, because I couldn't slot my Akropovic slip onto that because it was too long and stuff. I sent a very angry email. If you haven't seen that video card up there somewhere. But let's see if that slots on. Oh yeah, it's a little bit bigger if anything, actually it's quite a lot bigger, hmm, that may, may tighten down, that's quite a lot of room though, hmm, hmm, interesting, well we'll see, if I can use these then happy days, I may not be able to, I may have to use this section because this is probably going to fit on a lot better, even that doesn't fit on, that definitely don't fit on. Hmm, we'll see. Um, we'll see what we can do. Hmm, I don't think that's going to tighten it enough for that to slot on. So it may have to, I may have to cut the, the stock headers, but that's fine. We'll see what we'll have to do. But that's the unboxing video. Oh, I can't fucking wait to get this fucking thing on. It's going to be so sick. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next Yamaha R3 project. Peace!